Welcome to another video on our Suki Pro feature. And in this one, we look at the ever popular mega menu. I think of transformers when I say that, but nothing transforming about it, except that it is super cool, the mega menu. And within Pro, you get mega menu. So here I have a WooCommerce site. Up here, I have my menu. And on the right, if I hover over the shop, you will see that this menu drops down here, giving me one, two, three, and a fourth column over here, making up the mega menu. Let's go see how this is done, and I'll show you how you can create your own menu as well as how you go about with the styling. We leave this page open, and then we go into the dashboard, control click, command click, it opens our dashboard for us. Let's go to appearance, menus, and have a look at what we currently have over here. Have a quick gander at what we've got over here. To achieve this kind of effect with a logo and a menu on the left and the right, what you actually do in WordPress is that you make up two menus. And menu one you put on the left with your links for home and about us. And then the second menu you will put on the other side and you will put there, in this case, shop and contact us. If we go back into our admin panel under our menus, you will see that here, from my menu drop down bar, I actually have that. I've got main menu left and main menu right. So at the top level, I've got my shop. There's my shop. And then I've got also over here, contact us. Contact us. Now let's have a look quickly here at shop. Under shop, we have collections, categories, and by price. And then we have a banner. And these are our columns. So everything in the mega menu that is on the second level will be your column. I will show you how to set it up and activate it very soon. The third level then will be your links. You can either bring in categories, pages, or you can create custom links. I will show you what you can do with the banner, not in this video, because this involves another pro feature within Suki called hooks or blocks, custom blocks. For this image over here, that is done with a custom block or also referred to as a hook. Not part of this video, but you can check it out in the custom blocks video. Let's do the following. I'm going to create an extra page over here and then show you how you can set up your mega menu. So the first thing we should do is go to our pages and add a new page. And we're going to call this page very aptly named mega menu, mega menu. And then we're just going to publish it and now we hop back to our menus and I'll stay with this header menu too that's on the right. And here from our pages, click on mega menu and then add it to the current one. It will appear here at the bottom. We leave it here at the bottom. The first thing you have to do is to activate this as a mega menu. Click on the drop down and over here you see Suki mega menu container settings. Click on that and you enable it with that little click. Drop down size is the same as the container width, and the container is the entire area for your canvas in which your menu appears. If I hover over shop, you will see it's all the way from here to here, and that is your container width. Let's leave it like that, but you can also set a custom width in pixels. And we go back here and we say save changes and we close it. At this moment, we still actually have nothing because it's just activated, but there is nothing under it. And essentially, we're creating a drop down menu in a container. Let's create columns. And we do that with a few custom links in this case. Go to custom links. We call this one column one. We do column two. Column three, and let's make our fourth column. Column four, column, add to menu. Now we go down here in the mega menu, and you need to now put them as a drop down. To do that, click on it and drag it in. We do that for all of them. Oops, grab this one, drag him back. Go here to column one. By dragging it under the mega menu, they are automatically mega menus. If I click on Suki Mega Menu now, you'll see it's already in the column settings. It knows it is a column because we've moved it in one level. Over here, I'm going to set the percentage it will take within that column. So let's have a look again. We have the entire container here. Let's make the first one 20%. And 
and I'm going to say disable label link. What does this mean? If it was a real link, like here, by price, now by disabling it, you cannot click on it. It is just text. So we're going to say the same for that. Disable link on column heading. And that's all we do here. Save changes. Exit. And let's go to column two. What did we do for the first one? 20%, right? Click on the settings. 20%. Same. Save changes. And now let's go to column three. So we've got 20, 20. Let's do this one and make it 40%. Same over here. 20, 20 plus 40 gives us 80. So it's another 20% for the last one. And we put 20% here. Disable that. What is important, we have to save our menu here before it can reflect on the front end. Let's go and have a look. I'll just drag this one here. Makes a little bit more sense. Refresh our page and see what happens. Our mega menu appears here. If I hover over it, you can see my columns already appear here. You can clearly see these are smaller and this one is going to be larger at 40%. Let's put some links under it. Again, we just create some custom links for that. And for this, I'm going to skip a little bit forward. Otherwise, you're going to sit through an entire procedure where I create custom links. Right, so let's bring these links under the first column. And once you reach the third level, that is the end of the road. You cannot add more drop downs from that within your mega menu. Let's add for the rest as well. We've done all our links. Let's go and put them under various columns and let's unbalance them also a little bit too. Oops, let me drag that one back. Uh, and our last ones, we just drag in like this. Good. Whoops. And let's save our work. Jump to the front end. See if we've had success with building out our mega menu. Good. And your links will appear here. So question, next question is, how did we get this little thingy to appear here? Just to give you a taster of what a custom block and a hook is all about. If we go to that one, which is our banner, and you click on it, you will see if we go to the Suki Mega Menu Column Settings, over here, there is a short code that appears now here in the custom content. And that short code was created with the custom blocks, which is another add-on for the Suki Pro. Check the video out on that. And we will also show when we do that custom blocks, how do you put it in the mega menu? So all is on Kidori and we feel happy with it, but let's go and see how we are going to style this mega menu. In this instance, let's just go to the navigation menu here on the left, go to Suki and click on it to bring us to the dashboard and make sure if you want to work with the header mega menu that it is activated over here. If you need some more information on it, click here on documentation. That will take you to the knowledge base at the Suki website where you can read up on that. Alternatively, just keep on watching this video and I'm going to show you what to do. To go and customize it, click here on customize. And there are a few things that you can do here for your mega menu. To style any menu, you have to look at in which bar that menu is located. We have a top bar, main bar and a bottom bar. These are these three lanes that you see here, all part of the header builder. You can set different styling for menus depending on in which bar they are. And we are currently in the main bar here. You see our menu on the left and our menu on the right. So to do styling for this, you need to go to the main bar. Click on the main bar and then we'll, you can change topography, the menu link, etc. And then you see here, mega menu heading topography. So I can change that over here. Let's put it on something crazy like Courier New. And now you can see here the heading has changed to Courier New. Change the size. Just be aware that it's put on M. If you want to work with pixels, click here and then you can choose either pixels or rem. I'm going to keep it on M and that will have quite an effect on it. You can see here the column, the settings for column gets much bigger, much quicker. It's not like you are working with pixels, right? Just observe also that for the shop, the same has happened. You have 
global styling for your mega menus. You cannot set for each menu different styling. Let's see if we can change the background color. And this is now where the sub menu comes in. Drop down menu is also your sub menu. So if I want to change the background color, I can choose it down here. And the rest of the colors you can set over here. At the bottom, you also have the mega menu heading text color. And that is this one for the headings column one, column two, column three. Let's change that. And then you can also do the mega menu heading text row hover if you want to do that. But because we have disabled the link to be clicked, you, you won't need a hover in this case. There we go. Our mega menu, easy to set up, easy to bring in and easy to style as well. All of this within Suki Pro. For more information, make sure you subscribe to the channel as we release videos on Suki Pro and the Suki WordPress theme builder. And then also go and visit them. Follow the link in the description below.